there was all over the world. Where can we go from his presence? Hallelujah. So I want to quickly remind you the message we led behind last Sunday, the book of John 16, 33. I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Take note of that, the word in me. Are you there? Underline the word in me. Okay? Here on earth, you will have many trials. Oh my God. This is more explanatory. You may have many trials. What do you understand about trial? One trial could be temptation, could be affliction, could be sickness, disease, could be setback, could be limitation in progress, could be any foolish thing. Anyone? Any foolish thing. Take it again. Here on earth, you will have many trials. That's S, it's plural. You will have many trials. Could be isolation. Some of you that say you are lonely. You are looking for, for future partner. You are, could be barrenness. Could be trial is trial. Any foolish things. In this earth, you may have many trials and sorrow. Listen to that. You see? But take heart. Because I have overcome the world. Mm. He's saying, even though the world is a danger place, in me, I will keep you safe. Even though the world is a danger zone, a danger place, in me, I will keep you safe. <laughs> I'm not trying to give one other minute to the, what is in the Bible. After examining the message, in the light of God's word. This is what the Bible says. You know, when you read the Bible, you are reading the Holy Spirit. It's not history. It's given by inspiration. He said, even though the war is a danger place, in me, I will keep you safe. What does that mean to you? It means Jesus is closer to you than you yourself. That is, is closer to you than you yourself. You are two personality. You have two nature as you are sitting. You are two. You are two personality. You may not know, you think you are just only a person sitting there. No, you are two. If I'm not two, how can this rustic boy be talking to you? And you will believe. Does this appearance look like General Overseer? No, 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 no. This appearance is too small. No, no, this appearance cannot be General Overseer. There's another TV Joshua you cannot see. It is that TB Joshua you cannot see with your side. You, Jesus is closer to you than you yourself. Tell your neighbor, he is closer to you than you yourself. Mm, than you yourself. That is, if you say, hey, too close to you than anyone. A friend who is closer than a brother. 
Can you, can you imagine? Define a friend that is closer than a brother. Is a friend closer than a brother? That is Jesus. That is Jesus. That is Jesus. Is a friend closer than a brother? That is wonderful name. Jesus. That is wonderful name. Jesus. There is a wonderful name. Jesus. There is no other name. I know. Yes. Can't you look at that? There's no other name you know. They say a name or me and tongue chaba. Or me and tongue chaba. Chaba. Look, the challenge we have today. You feel you are with Jesus. You know you cannot be like me without me. You know that? Is it possible for you to be like me without me? There are many people like Jesus without Jesus. <laughs> I like that. I like that. They will speak. No, 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 Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. They know the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. They can teach. They can preach. They can just name. They can defend Jesus. They can tell Jesus is Lord. You cannot be like me without me. There are many of us we are saying we are born again without Jesus. We are Christian without Jesus. Pastor without Jesus. Prophet without Jesus. Bishop without Jesus. Apostle without Jesus. You cannot tell your neighbor you cannot be like me. Without me. This is why when you are calling his name at a point of trouble, you cannot bring him on the scene. When trouble comes, you say, Jesus! Where is Jesus? You find it difficult to bring Jesus on the scene. Because you can call his name, because you can preach, you can teach, you can pray, powerful prayer. You go to church regularly, that's not me. It's with you. This is what he's saying. That in me, I will keep you safe. Though, the world is a dangerous place. In me, I will keep you safe. That you call his name, you be a Joshua, you be a Christian, you be a Christopher, you be a Samuel, you be a that name, just name. You have been baptized many times, does not mean you are with him. Many try to be like Jesus without Jesus. Many claim to be like Jesus without Jesus. Are you without Jesus? There are many fear. Fear of failure. Fear of sickness, disease. Fear of false accusation. Fear of rejection. Fear, 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 fear. If you are without Jesus, you will always be conscious of fear, conscious of problem. Instead of being conscious of Jesus, you'll be conscious of your problem. People are conscious of problem today, but not Jesus. You are afraid of problem. You're always conscious of your problem. If the way you are conscious of your problem, your situation, it's the same way you are conscious of God, you are with Him. You are not conscious of God any longer. People are no longer conscious of God, but conscious of their situation. When you say, in Him, in me, I will keep you safe. 
Let me take you to the book of Luke 4, verse 4. Are you there? He said, Then the devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell this stone to become a loaf of bread. But Jesus told him, No. The scriptures say, People do not live by what? He replied, It is written that man shall not live by what? He said to the devil, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word, every word of God. Every word of God. What does this mean? Every word of God is spirit and life. When you receive and obey the word of God, the power of God work in you. The power of God work in you. When you receive and obey the word of God, the power of God work in you. That is, when you begin to think more about what you read, what you read, not think, but think more, which is meditation, which is the reason for our faith base level, counting your faith. Faith is a heavenly currency. If you want to buy heavenly things, you need faith. The more faith you have, the more heavenly resources you buy. You know, healing is heavenly resources. Blessing of God is heavenly resources. Salvation is heavenly resources. Deliverance is heavenly resources. The more faith you have, the more heavenly resources you, you purchase. You know, you have dollar, you go to the market, you purchase goods. Faith, you purchase God's material. And this is what you need. And I told you that a spirit creates material things. What creates material things? A spirit. And a spirit, God is spirit. God is spirit. A spirit creates material things. This means a spirit is greater than all your possessions. You give back to all your possession. You can't equate your material. Oh, I want to go to church. I want to go to church, but my business. Uh, I need to. Cont- I need to see this man for appointment concerning my business. You can't compare your business with worship of God, your relationship with God. No, God is only thing. It's not one of those things. No, I, I need to go to show, but I have to, I have meeting somewhere. I need to, go. I have meeting. I just need to attend the meeting. Because of the meeting, you are comparing your going to show with meeting. You can compare. A spirit creates what? You are one of the material. You are the greatest material God created. The Spirit created you. You are the greatest product of the Holy Spirit. You are the greatest product. But today you are no longer a greater product because if tiger enter now, you start running. If you see tiger now, you will start running. You are no longer a greatest product because if there is hurricane, the, the, every plane will ground it and they have to stop. You go nowhere. If hurricane is going to pass here, you have to vacate here. 
And the Bible says you are the greatest product of the Holy Spirit. Both the Holy Care, whatever you call it, they are materials. Click here to subscribe to witness more of God's power at work in our generation today and stay up to date with the latest prophecies, deliverances, sermons and testimonies from the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Emmanuel TV, changing lives, changing nations and changing the world.